Sylvia, uh, she says, I'd love to hear about the pros and cons of having a professional Facebook profile. If it's a good deal, I'd prefer to have a professional photo profile than one more page. I've heard good things and bad. I don't want to compromise the integrity of my profile nor the friendships I have there. I've thought about turning my current profile into professional one and creating another profile to close friends, but Facebook, everything is tightly integrated into accounts and page management. I don't want to upset that. Also, I figure if friends received another friend request from me, they think I've been hacked. Please enlighten me on this topic, Jen. Thanks in advance. All right. So it is not, it's nothing you can't, you can switch over and switch back, number one, okay, and give it a try. Number two, this is how you do it, okay? You go into your profile settings, turn on professional mode. And when you do that, you will get, you could potentially get paid for your content. That's why a lot of people are doing it. Uh, it'll let more people follow you and you get to see more insights on your content, okay? And then as far as your friends go, you know, you still have control over who sees, like, you can exclude your friends in your friends list. You can, you know how we, you've seen all my tutorials on, on the list and all the great things you can do with your list in Facebook. So you can still control that without your friends getting bombarded with too much of your business stuff. Now, you know, I'm a fan of the business page in addition to this because it allows us to run Facebook ads. But if you don't have any plans to run Facebook ads, this might just be the answer for you. Yeah, I, I think I'd probably have to do a little bit of prep because I don't have a bunch of lists made like the kind that you um, have told us to make in the past. Um, somebody told me that they had problems trying to figure out who were their friends and who weren't their friends because it doesn't really show specifically and you have to bring up the card they said I don't know what that meant what else was I going to say uh, I, I don't know but I don't want to interrupt you can carry on and if I think of it I'll let you know well I was going to say like a really good hygiene for all of us is that when you get birthday notifications on Facebook go to that person it gives you you know go to each person whose birthday it is usually it's you know maybe a dozen people at the most and you're going to go in and then that gives you an opportunity to check and either stop following them, stop being friends with them or add them to whatever list they need to be on. It's just a way of keeping your little black book act up to date. And if you do that every day, you're always, you know, at the end of the year, you're always current, if that makes any sense. So I try to do that on a daily basis. Obviously I miss some days, um, but it's just so easy to do. You click on their name, uh, and you see how your friends, and then it'll show you where, where, how you have them categorized. Because, you know, back in the day, like when we took B school, raise your hand if anybody took B school, like we became friends with like a thousand people we didn't know. And I was always okay with that because I put them into the list called ICA, ideal client avatar, because as it turned out, everybody in B school pretty much was my ideal client avatar. So now if I want to show content just to them on my personal profile, I can do that and just select that list. So I do have some questions. So I will still see when people's birthdays come up, whether I know them or not. It, it won't just be friends. It'll be everybody's or it'll be friends. I think friends. it'll just be friends. It okay. might be people you follow too. But okay. it's not going to be randos. I mean, random strangers. Okay. And then the other thing is, is that... Um, I do have pages. That's the problem is that I have a page for my horse stuff and I have a page, page for my podcast and I don't want one more page. If I have, like, I'm kind of eclectic, right? Horses, technology, social media, all those kinds of things. So I thought like, if I can just post some things that everybody is kind of interested on my professional Facebook profile, that would help me not have to have one more page. The other thing is, is that you keep seeing things on the information, the transparency information, this profile, this professional profile is not running ads. So does that mean you have the option of running ads? You know, as I was talking about that, I was thinking, I bet you, you can run ads on a, on a professional profile now, but I don't, I don't. So I, I, I do it from my page. So I bet you could, um, but this is perfect for you actually, because, you know, you can put your tech people into one list and you could put your horse people into another list okay. and you can put your relatives more importantly into another list so we can exclude aunt sally you know like who doesn't understand what you're doing yeah you know 
or whatever. Okay. Thank you.